So an assembly language question, sort of thing you might get in, in A level paper. So we've got a little bit of uh, description. So showing an algorithm used to calculate the value of the contents of variable A multiplied by the contents of variable B. Um, and the first bits, these bits here, they're the assignment statements. They've done those for us. And I've just repeated them up here to make it easier to write the code. I've also written my register values up here. So R1 is holding four, um, and that's representing A. And R2 is rep holding uh, three, is representing B. And R3 is representing C. Sometimes it's a nice idea for you. It just helps the thinking a little bit to do that. You don't have to by any means. The first thing to notice is where we've got a loop here. So because we've got a loop, we need some way of getting back to that area. So we'll have a label. We'll call it start. You can call it anything, but start seems to make some kind of sense. And then we do need to do the comparison. So compare. Uh, we're looking at comparing B, which is in R2. And we want to compare it with directly with the value zero. Done our comparison. So in the code, if B is more than zero, we're going to do uh, some work on the variables and then keep going back and doing that while it's more than zero. zero. So um, branch if greater than, so if it's more than zero, uh, we're going to go to Let's call it mult. We'll go down here. And if it's not, then we'll stop. Because if it's uh, if B is not more than zero, then we're not going to run that loop anymore. So we need to make sure we do that halt, otherwise the code will just run on. So uh, on the multiplying bit, we're just going to follow the lines of code. So C equals C plus A here. So we're adding, so add, and C is in R3, so oops, I'm just, it should be a D, looks like an R. So we're adding R3, R3, and whatever's in A, so A is in R1. So we're adding, so what this, this is doing is adding R3 and R1 together and putting the value into R3. So then we've got the next bit, which is take one away from B, subtract, B's in R2, so R2, R2, and it's at one this time, actual value one. Need to take away, and then we need to go back to the start where the loop is to do the test again. So we're going to branch to start, so that will branch every time to start. So this is going to go back to start. We'll do the comparison again, we'll branch if it's greater than, and when eventually it's not greater than, it will halt. So that is the program. Uh, fairly relatively straightforward one for four marks, but again, it's just illustrating this the idea of doing uh, a while loop by doing the comparison, doing the branch, halting if it's not correct, and then doing the work in here in multiply.